Supergirl in our minds is not in the shadow of Superman. But I think that what we like to do on the show, besides delivering like action and comedy and drama, is that it's a it's a family story. And so for us it was really interesting to get deeper into Kara's family. And that and then that, that includes Clark. Clark is the only surviving member of her family. So at a certain point, it's kind of strange not to have that be part of her story. And um, the difficult part was finding the right person to play Superman. And I think for us, Tyler, I've actually had the privilege of seeing Tyler in the suit. And I think when people see that, they'll realize like, oh, that's why. Because as soon as he put it on, Greg and I, Greg Blanche and I were sort of like, slack jawed and sort of like, oh my god, we're with Superman. Tyler has uh, the charisma and the kindness as well as like the strength. And I think that what people see is how much how fun it is to have Superman there, but it certainly does not overshadow kind of Kara and Superman. But the dynamic between them that you'll see in the first two episodes is just a lot of fun. Yeah, from, yeah. It, cause it, it, it's Supergirl with so many other stories to tell. We wanted to make that part of it. And now I think, you know, in season one, because we didn't want people to be distracted by Superman as we're establishing Supergirl, you know, he would appear to sound like I am and stuff like that. So now I think when there are little small moments with Clark, you have like a face to go with the name and, and a person. And it's just really fun to watch how everyone in National City responds to Superman and in some surprising ways. Any, anything is possible, Any? <laughs> as we like to say. Did he only appear in the suit as Superman? No, 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 no. He's, he's playing Clark. Is there going to be like a big shift from season one to season two because of the CW? Um, no, I don't think it'll be a big shift. I think, uh, look, we're super grateful, uh, pardon the fun, uh, to CBS for launching the show, but we're also really thrilled with this move. It was a surprise to us, but we just have such a great working relationship with the CW, and they make, they have so much experience in superhero shows that I think that what you'll see is that the show will continue to just become more of what it is. I, I think that they're they, they understand metahumans, they understand aliens, so it's just there's a nice shorthand. Um, but I think what you'll see in season two is kind of what you saw in season two of Arrow or Flash, which is a show that continues to find its footing um, and, and can expand on the universe that we've set up. And we have a lot of new fun people joining us, and, and uh, it's, it's going to be... It's that same mix, I think, of action and comedy and drama. And, and by moving to Vancouver, we actually will have more money. The show's going to look even better, and uh, it's going it's to be cooler. Last question. She'll be there. She'll see. You'll see plenty of cash. Uh, probably, probably a little bit less, but she'll be there. And and to be honest, it works really well. Kara uh, is not going to. It doesn't have the same relationship with Cat work-wise, so it just it wouldn't. It would actually be hard to have her be in as much. Kara has a different job, so. Um, Still a cat girl, but she's not her assistant, and so I think like it's we don't feel it totally natural. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.